Thank y'all very much. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta tell you this story. Have you seen this right here? A possum broke into a liquor store. I, I know that sounds like a setup for a joke, but it's not. Look at this. Possum breaks into Florida liquor store. Man, Trump got everybody drinking. <laughs> I said, this is a funny story. My nephew, who's one of the co-hosts on my radio show, back at Nephew Tommy, funniest possum story ever. We're, we're going outside one day. He, this is like... 85. I wasn't even in the business then. He was young. He was getting in the car. And we're walking to the car. And that was, I had a Cressida back then. We had a Cressida. And uh, there was a possum at night walking on the top of this fence. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, possum's scary looking a little bit. You can't really do nothing to you. And so I stopped. And uh, Tommy looked at it and said, man, so we waited for a minute, so I told him I gotta go back in the house and get something. So I go back in the house and I get something. <laughs> I come back outside. Tommy gets in the car and the windows is down cause it's summer. So you remember when you shut the door and the seat belt would wrap on you? <laughs> he shut the door and the seat belt wrapped on him and he thought it was the possum. <laughs> Get your, get your, get your. <laughs> he beat himself for a good two minutes. I'm in the parking lot, hollering, I can't breathe. Cause I know he thought it was that possum. It was just the seatbelt had just wrapped around him, and he thought that damn possum was in that car. That was a great possum story, man. <laughs>